Welcome to SC25 Youth Edition Creamon, where the spotlight isn't on the stars of today, but on the legends of tomorrow. At the helm of this bold new era stands Theodore Bond, a visionary manager obsessed with unlocking untapped potential. Known for his relentless pursuit for youth talent, Bond doesn't just develop players, he forges future stars. So sit back, grab that popcorn, because it's time for the kickoff. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of this Youth Edition Korean mode with Bradford City. So just to let you all know why there was no video on Friday, her channel was hit uh, with it getting removed by the false spam report wave. Uh, thanks to YouTube they did reinstate her account, she did submit uh, an appeal and they looked into it and they said there was no violation and that the issue was from the false spam report wave. So everything is now back to normal. Okay, so let's get a player upgrade in. It comes from the Salty Gamer for your boohoo. They wanted the number 9 kit because he's a big fan of Kudos from West Ham. They wanted short sleeves and a tight fit kit. They wanted red gloves with yellow sweatbands. Now there is yellow sweatbands on, but unfortunately you can't see them. Um, they wanted average height socks with green angle tape. And they wanted the UA Shadow Elite 2.0 Flare Orange Boots. So that's your boohoo upgraded. So let's see what he can do for the future of Bradford City. Okay, so let's get a player upgrade for you guys. This is Cristobal Tapia, the 16 year old from Mexico. And he is the essential attacking midfielder. So if you want to see any changes to his kit number or his kit appearance and accessories, then get your comments down below. The one with the most thumbs up will be the winner. I wish you all the best of luck. Okay, so Bradford City take on Fulham away in the Carabao Cup. Fulham are playing a 4-2-3-1 wide. This is their possible lineup. They are a four-star team with 75 attack, 76 midfield, and 76 defense. Okay, so they'll be playing a kick and rush style of football. They have three key defensive players in Bassi, Diop and Tate and one key attacking player in Ahmad. Okay, so Bradford City make zero changes. They still have Yubuhu up front with Bajanison and Arango as the left and right attacking midfielders with Tapia through the middle with Davis and Spence as the central defensive midfielders Jacobs and Johnson as the left and right back and Ferguson and Seed as the centre backs with Handy in goal. As you can see, their stamina and fitness is really low. So she's just looking for that next scout report for the next influx of players. Let's just hope there is one just around the corner. Two sides ready to give it their all in what promises to be 90 minutes of end to end football. Stay with us for every kick of the ball. Well, hello and welcome to Craven Cottage. I'm Guy Mowbray and I'm joined by Sue Smith on the gantry and everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's Fulham and they take on Bradford City. Yeah, with no league action today, but it is a chance to progress to the next round. I'm sure both sides will be looking to start fast, get an early goal and settle any nerves that they might have. Here's the Fulham team sheet. It's a 4-5-1, or you could say a 4-2-3-1. This does offer plenty of threat going forward with the three behind the central striker. We may see the wide midfielders cut in and the fullbacks push on while the defence is still protected from the two holding. This is the visitors' team for today. Well, it's very similar, isn't it? It's so important that the number nine isn't left isolated. Both teams are going to have to make sure that they get players in and around them when they get forward.
advantage. Enjoy the game. So away we go then. A chance to deliver into the box. Nicely sets it up. Oh, bad tackle. And the ref will surely take action. And that has not taken long. It's the first booking. Well, it's the last thing you want. A booking so early on means he's going to be walking on eggshells for the remainder of the match. work to recover possession that's a good ball a body in the way Andreas Pereira. Got room to operate in here. And the promise of something happening is over. Just to let you know, the club shop is open after today's game. If you'd like to get your Moving forward well. For the next game of club merchandise. possession oh, he tried to power it in that's flown wide absolutely flown a good advantage played by the ref and play is brought back now for the free kick to be taken. Lovely ball, this could lead to something. It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. Could be something happening for them now. bad save at all I'm sure it's only going to be a matter of time before they take the lead we're seeing some really good attacking play from them just need the finish now Attack of genuine promise now. Looking to put the cross in. And that's where it ends with possession lost. Delivered into the box. And that's a shame for them as the move breaks down. 
Good work to regain possession. Playing his luck. The defensive job done for now. being afforded too much space here just lacked a little concentration there and behind it goes I'm sure like most of us you've been following the transfer saga that seems to have gone on for a while but now it's gone through so deal done well yeah there's certainly been a lot of focus on him over the last few years and you can see he's got talent he's still young so there's more to come this is a move that will certainly help him develop I'm sure Keeping it nicely, waiting for the chance to get themselves in front. Having a look. Oh, that was a decent position, but he went to whack it rather than place it and has narrowly missed. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone at Craven Cottage. The ball is rolling, and the second half is underway. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Now, can he get the cross in? But that's cut out quickly and easily. Now, this might be promising. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Showing good wit with this attack. And the forward progress continues with a good ball. Genuine chance. Terrific point-blank save. Well, I thought that had to be a goal, but the keeper pulls off a tremendous save. It's cat-like reflexes. They take a short corner. Delivered into the box. It's off the bar and over it goes. Well, that's unlucky. His movement in the box is great. I just wonder, does he miss time his jump slightly and that connection just isn't quite there? Played through nicely. And it's opened up! Well, it looked promising, but it hasn't proved to be much of a test. Nicely played. Oh, top quality goalkeeping to deny what looked a likely goal. Number six, Harrison Green. Coming onto the pitch, number 20.
in now Pereira Timothy Castagna Wilson a really good interception to take the ball and that's that the flag's up Decent progress here, but that one's been woefully overhit. Kick awarded here, the refs viewed that as a foul. Really good pass. But he can't keep the effort on target. Goal kick to come. Touchline it goes, it'll be a throw in now. Nicely sets it up. Well read to gain possession. a nice forward-thinking pass and it's stopped straight away and that's been seen as a foul free kick Decent delivery. Well, that's as easy as it gets for a goalkeeper. And they've got it back now. Well, the fans have been frustrated at times today, but they know the team need them. So those noise levels have just gone up for one final push. Promising move this, a goal now would surely be the winner. He's beaten his marker here. Well, he went for power and got plenty of that, but was never anywhere near.
could be something happening for them now. He'll take this on. But well watched by the goalkeeper and not one for the highlights. Untidy in possession there. There's room to do something here. Space now to get a crossover. Great chance here. It's in, and it might well be the winning goal. Well, we can see it again now, and what a perfect cross that is. It's just inviting someone to attack it, but you've got to question the defending. They looked a bit disjointed at the back, and they give them far too much time and space, and we're punished. And we're back underway at 1-0. This is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. Counter-attack coming, away they go. Space to whip it in here. Pulls it back. Oh, a great chance. Another goal. And one that surely will seal the win. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to pick out a teammate with a lovely cutback. And as soon as he's through 1v1 with the goalkeeper, he just goes for power and smashes it in the net. It's a quality finish. And that's it. The final whistle that means celebrations around the ground. The home supporters have got what they wanted. They're going through. Yeah, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. Thought they controlled large parts of the game, certainly created enough chances. And if they continue to replicate performances like this, I'm sure they're going to be confident going into the next round. Well, he really has put in a first-class performance today. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah, well, he gave the backline a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them. Always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. So unfortunately for Bradford City, Fulham did win 2-0. They tried their best, but the better team did win at the end of the day. So now let's take a look at the match facts. Okay, so Bradford City had 64% possession to Fulham's 36. They had a better dribble success rate with 93 uh, to their 90. Uh, Fulham did have a better shot accuracy with 80% to Bradford City's 40. Uh, their passing accuracy was better with a 69 to Fulham's 74. Uh, Fulham were expected 1.4 goals to Bradford City's 0.5. Um, if you look at the rest of the facts here, the, it was kind of an average game, but Fulham did come out on top. So now let's take a look at the player's performance. Spence got a 7.8, Sed got a 7.7, Tapia got a 5.7, Davis got a 6.9, Yabuhu got a 6.8, Ferguson got a 6.7, Bajanison got a 6.5, Jacobs got a 6.5, Arango got a 6.3, Johnson got a 6.2, and Handy got a 5.8. Okay, so this is where the video will end here. 
As you can see, Fulham did beat Bradford City 2-0 and knocked them out the Carabao Cup. Don't forget to leave your comments down below for the player upgrade, or you can comment down below with any of your thoughts or suggestions. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you. And goodbye. If you did like this video then give it a thumbs up and leave it a like. If you want to watch more from the Youth Edition career mode and get notified when the videos go live then hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon. And if you want to get involved during the career mode don't forget to leave a comment down below or give a thumbs up on the comments you like. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you. And goodbye.